Hello and welcome to episode 50 of Youth Squad Legends Series 6 with Burton Albion. Now this is a special episode. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring back 5 YSL Legends to play with Burton Albion. Starting with the Burton Albion manager, Adam Pond, playing against Crystal Palace. Here is the starting 11. We've got Fabian Ica, Adam Pond, Armand Gui, Shuttleworth, Rosenberg, Mazuch. Moore Taylor for Nazi, Turgut Moe, who's replacing Pennington, suspended for this game, William Johansson, and Matthias Jonsson. Adam Pond, Adam Pond, Adam Pond in a Burton Albion shirt. It means that no one is managing Burton Albion right now. It's good, Adam Pond. Shuttleworth taking the throw in. Rosenberg towards Adam Pond, the first shot on goal. It's deflected for a corner. Adam Pond bursting out through the left-hand side. It is Adam Pond, and it's a goal for Burton Albion. Adam Pond is back, baby. Shuttleworth on the right-hand side. We've got Adam Pond and Armand Gui going into the box. It's Shuttleworth trying to cross, but that's a good slide challenge. It's now Mazuch towards Adam Pond. Great first touch. Oh, wow. That would have been sensational. Alexander Rosenberg, he's got Armand Gui ahead of him and Armand Gui just gets in his way. I guess that's Rosenberg's punishment for going for the shot. Well, oh, keeps, 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 keeps. Very nicely done. A big kick up as well. It's Frank Matip heading down to Adam Pond. Could have done a lot more with that. Oh, yes. Defensive mistake. It leaves Adam Pond free and Adam Pond has missed it. Ah! We're into the last few seconds of a game that hasn't really lived up to potential. But it is Adam Pond who scored again with the Megs on the keeper. 2-0. And even though it isn't a game that's lived up to potential, Adam Pond has scored twice. Full time. And Burton Albion come up winners. Their manager bags both goals. Adam Pond on his return. Now, obviously, I didn't do that game in career mode itself. So what I have to do now is replicate that scoreline against Crystal Palace. The created player, Adam Pond, scored twice this game. So what I'm going to do to make sure the stats are correct by the end of the season is score two own goals with Crystal Palace. We're just going to wait here. I should have put it on four-minute halves instead of six. Hmm... That possession stuff for Crystal Palace, 97%. Oh, yes. Right, it looks like we're done for this first half. I'm just going to kick it upfield. In fact, I don't even need to kick it upfield. The half-time whistle has blown. What an exciting half of football. Hey, up, hey, up. The play is getting too close. Hang on. Get back, bitch. And we are done here. Yes, on to the next game. Oh shit, we're away against... I should have played Adam Pond for this one. The second game is Newcastle United against Burton Albion. And this game is for Simon Kachunga. Just look how crazy his goalkeeping stats were, man. Boom! You squad legend's greatest goalkeeper. Oh, oh that pass. Oh, gone Jimmy with the control. And it's crossed in to Armand Gui. Very good move, but the header could have been better. Now we played Newcastle United very early in this series and only lost 2-1. We've improved a lot since that first game. Oh, that pass! Frank Matic! What a save! Give it to Pennington! Pennington! Oh! Pennington! No! No, that is not how you shoot. 33 minutes into the game and Kachunga hasn't touched it once. Nope, the defence stops it again. Kachunga might as well be a spectator, to be honest. Frank Matip. Here is Rosenberg. Back heel. That was for Nazi. Why was he in the box? Yes. Oh, he's finally touched the ball. And it is a great save to stop Newcastle from taking the lead. Just push to the side for a corner. In it again. Kachunga! Okay, this is scary. Saved again by Kachunga. Rosenberg pushing men forward. And, wow, that pass was for Fabian Eicher. He was free. Matip decided to take the ball. And in a game of few chances, that was a big one. 
I'm sorry, what? Oh, Fenazi, you idiot! All I wanted was a Kachunga clean sheet. And silly Fenazi fucks that up for him. Yes, back heel, Rosenberg! Oh! Well, the own goal was put a dampener on Simon Kachunga's game. He did very well, to be honest. He was the best player on the pitch, in my opinion. But there's no clean sheet reward at the end of it. Let me put it into my own net, Jonsson. I don't mean any harm. Just let me score an own goal, please. I'll take Jonsson out, and then I'll pass it back to Fenazi. And then it's a foot race. Go on, Fenazi. That's right. So the next game is the final game in the group stage of the Euro League. It's as simple as this. We win the game, we are top of the group. We lose the game, we could finish third and therefore not qualify for the knockout rounds. And this is the game where we say hello again to Matthias Mulders. He's playing right wing this game even though he's left footed. I'm going to try and take advantage of his long shots. 97 long shots. 98 short pass. There is Matthias Mulders. Scored twice against Chelsea as Paderborn lifted the Champions League trophy. All-round legend. One of the greatest YSL players ever. Matthias Mulder's first touches and the opening shot. Gui inviting Mulder's to get forward and he will do that. Matthias Mulder's whoo, strong slide challenge but a fair one. Mulder's again just destroying Dynamo Moscow at the moment. Here is Rosenberg moving it forward. And the pass to Eichhoff, very good. Rosenberg again. <laughs> Gosh, man, what a goal! <laughs> Matthias Mulders might have a massive long shot start. But if you're talking about long shots, there's only one man. With his first attempt of this game, he puts it into the net. It's 1-0 to Burton Albion. Keep everything controlled at the back. We only need to win 1-0. Although a Matthias Mulder's goal would be supremely nice. Saved by Jonsson from the textbook, that one. Corner kick for Dynamo Moscow early in the first half. Oh, it's Matthias Mulder's off the line. A magical moment from Matthias Mulder's. No! Oh, it's in the post! I've just I've slid into him. You know what? I'm glad that I didn't actually touch him because that might have been a red card. It's 1-1 one, one now. Yes. Frank Matic to the left. Here is Fabian Eichhorn. We've only got Mulders in the box, but he's there! Matthias Mulders! Yes! Absolutely wonderful. What a player. Everybody bow down. Definitely the best wing goal that YSL have produced. And there's been some good ones. Ross Ball, Matty Zuck. Ah, Matthias Mulders, top of the lot. Armand Gui. Oh, yes, Matty is onside. Oh, what a great first touch. The finish wasn't there. No! No! Oh, man! That is a killer. Mulders' fairy tale. Is up in flames in the last minute. An equaliser. It puts all the qualification in doubt now, unless we can get a goal straight away from the kickoff. Here is Frank Matic. Please, Rosenberg. We've got to make this one count. It's Armand Gui. Oh, no. Full time and it's finished to all on the score sheet. This is one of the nights in Europe where I just can't understand our luck in the competition. We can't catch a break at all. We are through in second place after Toon and Trabs on Sport draw. That means that we're going to compete in the Euro League knockout stages. Game four, it's Burton Albion against Stoke City. And this game is for Domenico Pascopo. When you ask most people, including myself, who is the greatest YSL player ever, Domenico Pascopo is the answer. The 6 foot 8 Italian striker is backing you, squad legends. And if he doesn't score in this match, well, I'll sell all my recording equipment. I'll finish YouTube. 
Look at them stats. Look at them stats. Look at them stats. These, these are ridiculous. No. Yes. Poo! Matic. Yes. Pascopo can run now. It's Domenico Pascopo. Come on. Pascopo. The skill giraffe strikes again. No. No. Completely rejected. Well done, Mazoc. Oh. That is a beautiful pass by Frank Matic. And Pascopo scores a second. Pascopo. Alexander Rosenberg, can we add a third before half time? He sent it to the left of Fabian Eichel. And the ball in to Alexander Rosenberg. That was lovely between the two. 3 0 Burton Albion. It's a gorgeous ball into Rosenberg. Instant control with the chest and bang on the half volley. The game is well and truly over. Yes? Piscopo! It's a hat trick! Iker's asking Piscopo to run again. Oh, it's too quick for this defence. Domenico Piscopo! He's hunting down Baggy's record! Six goals in a game! Piscopo already has four, with 40 minutes left to play. Yes, Rosenberg, and Piscopo's running after it. Domenico Piscopo! Penalty! It is a penalty! And only a yellow card for the defender, even though he was last man, for a fifth goal. Domenico Piscopo scores. Pennington. And P Piscopo is onside here. Domenico Piscopo, what a save! Go. Oh, no, Jamie Moore, Taylor, what are you doing? Oh, it's a goal for Stoke. Can't keep that clean sheet. Piscopo straight from the kickoff. Long shot. Oh! Yes, Ico. Come on now. Three minutes remaining. Here is Frank Matip. Now Domenico Piscopo to equal the record save. Oh! It's so weird feeling annoyed when you've absolutely smashed a team. But the chance was there for Piscopo to equal Baggy's record. And he's fallen one goal short. Burton Albion 6, Stoke City 1. The final game of this episode is at White Hart Lane. The youth squad legend that's coming out of retirement for this game is the big German centre-back Mark Halfar. That Halfar and Pennington partnership. Mmm. It's Tottenham Hotspur against Burton Albion. Halfar. 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 Matip chipping it up to Armand Queen. Oh my word. That would have been incredible. Pennington. Here's Armand Guit, back heel to Alexander Rosenberg, blocked off before he could take the long shot. Go, 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 Matip is free of any defender! Frank Matip to give Burn a surprising lead. That isn't what happened, Vorm saved. And we've only got a corner kick. Well, corner kick with Mark Halfar in the box! Which he's taking advantage of! Halfar! Oh! Oh, I think, you know what? Well, it hasn't been given as a how far on goal, but it should have, really. Yep, definitely come off how far that one. Should have been an on goal, that wasn't going in. So, that is half time, and how far's had a major input in both goals. Here is Rosenberg. Oh! Mazuch has played in Gui. Just a bit of strength and pace needed. Arm and Gui hits the post. We're not getting a lot of possession, and we're under pressure for long spells in this game. But we've had two attacks in this second half, and both have hit the woodwork. No, I've got the best defence around, lads. You're not going to find any space there. 
full time. That is a very hard earned point. One of the best draws of the season. And yes, the how far Pennington partnership is as good as what you'd think it would be. This has been Cut State. Thank you for watching this episode of U Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, please give the video a like. And I will see you next time.